undo and redo are two complementary commands that can be quite helpful. To understand how these commands work, first create some objects. Use the Line tool to create a line segment. End the command and then start it again, but this time create several line segments and then right click and choose the Close option to create a closing segment and end the command. Then use the Rectangle command to draw a rectangle. Finally, use the Line command to create one more line segment. Note the order in which you used the commands. On the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Undo tool once. The program immediately undoes the last thing you did. In this case, it undoes the last line segment you created. When you click Undo again, it undoes the next most recent thing that you did. In this case, it removes the rectangle. Click Undo again. This time, the program does not undo each of the individual line segments, but rather it undoes all of the line segments created during that instance of the line command. This is because when you are in the middle of the line command, its internal undo option lets you step back and remove previous line segments. But once you have ended the line command, the undo command reverses all of the line segments you created during that particular use of the line command. And when you click Undo again, it will undo the very first line segment you created. Clicking the Redo button reverses what you just did with the Undo command, so each time you click Redo, each object is restored to the drawing. You can also click the down arrow adjacent to the Undo button to view a list of every command you performed. You can then roll back through a series of commands. So, rather than having to click the Undo button three times to undo everything but the very first line, you can select the last three commands at the top of the list to undo the line, the rectangle, and the line. The arrow adjacent to the Redo button lets you do the same thing. Rather than clicking the Redo button two times to restore the line segments and then the rectangle, you can simply click the second item in the list to redo the last two undo actions. Note, however, that the redo list only contains the undo actions you performed. The combination of the undo and redo commands is perfect for trying what-if scenarios, or if you do something and do not get the desired results, you can immediately undo whatever you just did. Do not try to fix it, just undo it. There is one thing to remember, however. The redo command only reverses whatever you just undid using the undo command. If you use any other command after you undo something, you will no longer be able to use the redo command to reverse whatever you undid.